Hey y'all, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton here at Webtegrity in San Antonio, Texas, and it is another wonderful WordPress Wednesday. And today we are gonna talk a little bit about SEO, and specifically, is a single page website better or okay for SEO versus multiple pages on websites? We're seeing more and more trending of these single page, beautiful, dynamic, cool, kind of infinity scrolling websites out there, those templates that you can purchase. And um, really, they're spectacular, but are they good for SEO? We're getting those questions quite a bit. So I just wanna address that a little bit today. This is gonna be a very short, quick tutorial, kind of walk you through some different ideas um, when it comes to what uh, kind of the best practices, right? So is it good to have uh, a one page or is it good to do multiple pages? So I just gotta give a shout out really quickly to these three awesome, awesome sponsors that help us out. Um, WP Engine, if you're looking for really great WordPress, secure, fast, awesome hosting, check them out. WP Elevation, if you're an entrepreneur, check them out because they're gonna help you learn how to write better proposals, get more contracts, uh, offer better services to your clients. And of course, WP 101, if you're looking for more tutorials on how to handle your WordPress website, these are the guys to go to. Okay, so let's talk about it. I'm gonna slide off the screen just so you can see this. This is one of our websites that we designed. Um, this is a single page website. So let's just say, let's click on who we are. See how we kind of scroll down the page here? Um, what we do, you kind of scroll down, there's that. And if you just keep scrolling, here's the how we do it. Our agenda is your success. And we kind of just keep scrolling down. Very typically, all the content stays on one page. And then you can go back up to the top. Um, some of these templates though do have these themes do have the opportunity to have a blog. So when you click on blog, you can come down here, see the most recent blog articles, click, and then you're moving into the website and kind of going in and seeing more quote unquote pages. This would be a post, of course, right? So is this, is this option good for SEO? Putting all of your content down one page, your contact information, your bios, especially if you don't have a whole lot of content, is it better just to put it on one page? So the quick answer to that is, it's not necessarily better, it's not necessarily bad either though. So here's what I want you to think about. What type of industry are you involved in? Is your industry saturated? In other words, are you in like the insurance industry? Are you in uh, lawyers, you know, the legal field? Are you in something with medical? Those industries are saturated with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of content. But if you're in an industry that's very, very fine, a very tiny niche, you might be able to get away with doing a single page website. What you wanna remember is that Google uh, is looking on your website to find the best possible content for something that the person is searching for, right? So it's not necessarily the fact that Google looks at your website and says, I don't like your website, so I'm not going to present it or rank it high. It's that Google looks at your website and says, is this the best possible information for the search that was just performed? So they're weighing out all of your content. They're looking at every single page, every single post on your website if you're allowing them to. So a, a website like ours over here at Webtegrity that offers you know, a lot of content on the home page, that offers an inside service page as you click in and go further into the website, and then you click here again and go further into the website and see that we have all these different options available for you. You can go in and see our portfolio. There's our, our Pace Counseling Group that we were just talking about and get to see kind of what it looks like to have all this content Basically, Google's robots will go through and crawl the whole website so that when somebody does a search for WordPress in San Antonio, they're gonna be able to present Webtegrity's website, right? It might be a little bit more difficult to be presenting something uh, that's a single page as Google might look at the weight of it and the authority of it and say, hmm, it's not necessarily the best information possible, so I'm gonna present somebody else or rank somebody else higher than you. So all that said to say, you also have some options for adding in social media. So if you're advertising out on social media and you're sending a lot of traffic to your website, that will of course help boost your website, right? Um, and if you wanna learn more and more and more about SEO, I'm gonna put a link right here to another free option that I have for you. And I'll put a link in the description box below to a course that I have online that you can check out for SEO. You can learn all about how to make Google fall in love with your WordPress website, all right? I hope this has helped. It's just a really quick tutorial on is a single page website 
okay for SEO versus multiple pages? And again, my short answer is I prefer to see multiple pages so that you can have different links at the top, different URLs for each and every page so that you can hopefully grow your website and kind of build all the information that's there to allow Google to see you as a bigger and better authority on the subject or on the services that you offer. Have a great WordPress Wednesday, and if you're interested, please be sure to subscribe because we're doing these every single Wednesday just for you. Have a great one. Bye, y'all.